Hi guys, I'm Chris Wilson, and this is the Helpful Home Service Guy series. Hey guys, Chris Wilson here, your Helpful Home Service Guy. Today we're going to talk a little bit about SEER rating. Uh, that's a question we get often, and it's been coming up more recently. Uh, what is SEER rating? How does it work? How do we know what to buy? What should we look for? So SEER rating is your seasonal energy efficiency ratio. What that means is it's your total BTUs used consumed over a given period of time, a cooling season, divided by the watts of energy that the unit uses. That gives you your SEER rating. So for example, this unit here is showing an 18.1 SEER rating, okay? Standard right now on the low end is 13, 14 SEER. On the high end, we get somewhere up into the mid 20s, okay? So that is how it works. Typically when you see a unit, the size, the volume of the unit, and the amount of uh, surface area that the unit has to uh, dissipate heat is gonna indicate kind of sear rating to a certain extent. When you see really big units, it doesn't have as much to do with the capacity of the unit that you think it does. It has more to do with its ability to dissipate heat. So a larger unit with more surface area can actually get rid of more heat out of your home in one cycle of refrigerant than a smaller unit that has less surface area. Okay, that's pretty much how SEER works. So the other conversation that piggybacks onto SEER rating is what we call delivered efficiency. You can put the most efficient SEER unit, the highest rated SEER unit in your house, but if your delivery system stinks, if your ductwork is in poor shape and you're not getting the air where it needs to go, I don't care how efficient a system you put in, you're never gonna be comfortable and you're not gonna get the benefit of that really high efficiency unit that you spent all that money on. So oftentimes we'll talk to customers about improving their duct work, okay? Making sure that you're getting all those BTUs that you paid for being delivered efficiently and effectively to the rooms where they need to go. It doesn't pay to, to install a really high efficient unit if you can't get the energy into the space and the comfort into the space where you want it. Oftentimes I'll tell people, hey, let's consider a less efficient unit Take some of that budget that you have and address your duct work and do a duct renovation so that we can re really create good comfort, uh, good efficiency, and overall better performing system in your home. 